Good morning, friends. It's Heather at Bush Poppy Farm. Hope you're doing well today. Uh, it's Saturday. It's another hot day. Uh, it's not going to get as hot. I think maybe the high today is 86 Fahrenheit, which is way better than 99 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> but it's still already hot. Uh, but we are gonna be doing transplanting. I've gotta get these guys into the ground and um, I have a few new things that I just picked up um, because I needed some extra supplies and then I got additional stuff. So uh, today's gonna to be a transplanting day. Before we go further on the transplanting journey, I, I do want to say I've had a number of requests from, from you guys to, uh, when we do seed starting this coming week, to show you how I do my seed starting, all the stuff that goes into my soil blocking mix and all that kind of stuff. So I will do a video start to finish of uh, how I make my soil blocking mix, how I use soil blocks, um, and then uh, if I'm going to do anything in six packs, although I don't think I am, but in six packs, I usually just use either a seed starting mix, just a bagged seed starting mix, or um, I can still use my soil blocking mix, but that's kind of precious materials because it's got a lot of stuff into it. So um, anyway, just letting you know that's coming up. Maybe Monday. I don't know. We've got a farm day tomorrow. We're going to build the raised bed and uh, well, Mike and Dylan probably will build those raised beds. And then Aiden and I are going to be digging out and setting up a... Um, with T-posts and welded wire, because I have a roll of that in the front garden. We're gonna set up uh, the compost bays because coming up in the next couple of weeks, I'm gonna cut down all of the flowers and those are all gonna get composted on site. So we need to have a place to put them. All right, but today we are transplanting. So we're doing flowers, but I wanted to show you the, um, the seed time map that I have for the veg garden. Um, and I might make some changes to it based on what's currently out there. Okay, so uh, here we have the map. This bed no longer exists. That's the one we pulled up yesterday to put the shed down and no problem. Uh, so here we have our artichokes. Uh, you'll see there's six here. Currently there's only three, but I have others started. And actually those starts just aren't going anywhere. They grew a little bit. I've been fertilizing them. They're not doing much. So I actually bought two much bigger starts. I'm going to put those out because those I think will take off and I'm going to have to protect them because the rats actually really love to eat uh, young artichoke leaves. So pretty much everything I put out there, I'm gonna have to protect, but I've got plans for that. So, um, okay. So that's the artichoke patch. Also like right here, I didn't put it on the map is the collard tree and that's going to be there forever. Um, so in this bed, there's going to be right now, there's still black eyed peas and some dried peas and mustards in this end, but the whole bed is going to be mustard, um, for the fall and winter. And that is mostly because of this was our potato bed last year or this year and we got early blight so there is there are blight spores in that soil and i want the mustard to biofumigate that bed um, i still will not plant potatoes in there for at least the next two years but i want to fumigate it as much as possible so i can put other stuff in there and we'll have to worry about it in this small bed we're going to have cauliflower this is purple of sicily i've already got those started they're looking great um, this is a row of cauliflower snowball y and castle franco lettuce now there's already tomatoes right now in this bed but they are almost done they uh there's tomatoes here they're still loaded so i'm not ready to put collards in yet um those will have to wait um, but these are almost all of them have been picked and there and I can tear those out not today but very soon um, and then this round bed is going to have Copenhagen three Copenhagen um, market cabbages and then two red acre cabbages and then this bed is got endive little gem uh, waltham broccoli brussels sprouts spinach and honestly, I don't know why I didn't label that. I don't know what it is. I think maybe it's kale. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Anyway, and then of course we've got the carrots and beets bed, which actually right now has some lettuce right here. And I bought, in, bought some more Salanova lettuce because they looked beautiful that I'll put on this side too. Um, 
Then over in here where we've got winter squashes still, um, we're going to have burgundy broccoli, these are rows of peas, and then purple moon cauliflower. Now you'll see we still have space here, and also on this map are not the four raised beds that are over in this corner, uh, which I have planned out, but I just didn't print. One of those beds is going to be our garlic bed. Um, that is the current pepper bed. I'm going to leave those peppers as long as possible because because it's been so hot, they're finally producing a good amount of peppers. and because I've been trapping a bunch of rodents, they're actually able to ripen on the plant, which is amazing because they've been eaten. Basically, I'll get a beautiful pepper out there all, all year. It's been like this. Get a beautiful pepper going, get ready to pick it, and then the next day come out and half of it's gone because it's been eaten. So it's so funny because either my rats um, just like spice <laughs> uh, or something because they eat my onions and my peppers, even the hot ones, um, so the usual rat deterrence, like capsaicin and all that kind of just doesn't seem to work. Uh, maybe they've built up a tolerance, I don't know. Anyway, um, so some of this is going to get transplanted today, but not most of it because we do still have things growing out there and I want to allow them to continue to grow. Now, I might switch this up um, and so for places that are ready to be flipped, I can move things over so that um, I have I'm able to put some of these in the ground because I do have six packs of veggies that I'd like to get in the ground. If I do that, then I'll just rewrite the map and change it in seed time so that I know what's going on and calendar wise when it was planted and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to haul some of this stuff out there and we'll get started. I'm already sweating. <laughs> it's hot. Um, but that's, that's how it is in September for us. So, all right. Um, I'll meet you in the garden.
Whew. Okay, guys. That was a long day, and it was only about eight degrees cooler today than it was yesterday. So I, yeah, I'm really overheated. It's starting to feel better now that the, the sun is going behind the hill. Um, so just a little recap of what you just saw in time lapse. So I put our two new um, artichokes right there. The other ones are here. There's one hiding in here as well. And then there's another one right there. I cut one of them down. So they'll come back in the spring. Um, they, these guys have finished their cycle. And then the collard tree is right there. Now under this is a whole bunch of lettuce on the edges here. And then it's all of the broccolinis. And I'm saving this one squash because that pumpkin's in good shape and I just want to see what happens. Um, so we've got the broccolinis in there. We've got some cabbage at the end um, and it's still not all the way filled out, which is great. Um, now this is not rat proof by any stretch um, because they can chew right through this and it's not anchored down everywhere. But this in conjunction with some, a whole bunch of traps, I'm hoping, will preserve these plants. Fingers crossed. Okay, uh, and then here uh, I put in the Brussels sprouts. On the map I had noted to put them here, and this is an old the collard, which, you know, at some point will come out. But there's two sweet potatoes from last year growing right here, and I didn't want to mess with those roots because I actually want to try to harvest those and see if we actually get sweet potatoes out of them. So I put them here instead. Um, at some point this will come out, uh, but for now, since I don't have to put anything there, we're good. Um, I did put fresh peas, pea starts in here. Um, yes, there's still a dead carcass of a rat on that trap, and I'm leaving it there for a reason. I'm going to see if that deters other rats from coming through here to try to eat these peas. Um, I had to buy pea starts because they ate the peas completely down to nothing once they germinated. This is still rat free. Let's keep our fingers crossed that it stays that way. Um, so then I put some more uh, peas in here along with these. These are Chinese red noodle uh, long beans. And then this is um, red Russian kale, or maybe it's dazzling blue. I can't remember. In any case, it's kale. <laughs> and then the round bed, I did exactly what the map had. I have, um, except I have four, of uh, the uh, Copenhagen Market cabbages there. And then two, instead of red acre, these are ruby, but they're still red cabbages. And finally, um, over here, I put uh, some collards. So this all has, everything has fresh compost. Um, layered, put down. I saturated the soil before I put the compost down. Then I put the compost down, then I planted, then I saturated the soil again because, again, we don't want to have hydrophobic soil and then have it look wet on the surface, but underneath is bone dry. Um, and so it's looking okay. But because these are transplants and it's going to be hot again tomorrow, oh, please don't sting me. I need to come out here uh, probably twice a day. I'm going to keep moving. Um, to deeply water these guys until they are established. I don't want to lose any. Um, so yeah, feels good to get those in, but I have to come back out in a little while and set a whole bunch of rat traps. Um, a lot of my rat traps are broken at this point because the pins have come apart. So I'll have to buy some more, but uh, I don't want to, I don't want to stop <laughs> with the effort to catch these guys because the more I kill, the more food I have <laughs> here. Okay, uh, I'm gonna harvest. I have some tomatoes I need to harvest and some beans and stuff. And then, yeah, so that's gonna be it for me tonight. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today on this very hot day again. I really thought it was supposed to be cooler today. It was, it was not much cooler. <laughs> very, very hot. But I feel good that I got it done. Tomorrow is a farm day, I hope. Um, Sometimes after really hot days, I get a migraine. So I'm hoping that I'll be good tomorrow. We're going to build those raised beds and Aiden and I will make the compost bin. And then uh, the next day, I'm hoping to get all the flowers that I've got to transplant, transplanted. And uh, I have irises to share, share with you guys. 
and it's time to start uh, the huge week 36 selling of uh, flowers from the farm. So lots coming up this week. Thanks again for hanging out with me. I hope you have a wonderful time in your garden and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.